Globalization is the interconnection of countries by means of exchanging ideas, products, labor, and more. Globalization has allowed for the world to become interdependent, and with this interdependence, countries now share similar economic, social, and political issues and problems. While the idea of the traditional family differs throughout the world, the importance of family is shared by many. Organizations in many countries are working to normalize underprivileged children's lives. In the United States, foster children statistically have a bleak future ahead of them. As of 2013, there are 402,000 children in foster care, most coming from abusive homes. One in five foster children will be homeless after they leave the system. Only half will be employed at 24. Less than 3% will earn a college degree, and one in four will experience post-traumatic stress disorder. In Opelika, Alabama, the Big House Foundation is a not-for-profit organization working to better the lives of these children in foster care. Big House is a non-profit ministry that serves foster families in our area. Um, some of the programs we provide are a free clothes closet, um, kids' night out respite events for foster families, um, special events um, every season like our back to school bash, our Santa's workshop, family beach retreat, glitz climbing gowns, girls prom dress events, and our swimsuit and towel drive. The clothes closet is run um, solely by donations and, um, and a lot of volunteer effort. So um, we have community members donate new and gently used clothing for um, kids and teens and then we have volunteers sort and organize those and then our families come and shop and we serve about 80 to 100 kids per month through the clothes closet. Right now we're working on expanding um, in other communities in Alabama um, through some of our programs. Um, some of our programs like our Glitz Glam and Gowns event um, is available to um, teens in foster care statewide. Um, we've done a tour in the past two years to go to five different cities um, that way. So we've built relationships in those communities um, through some of our events. And in the spring, we'll be launching another closed closet in Shelby County um, to help the foster families in that area. Big House supports sustainability of foster families um, in our area by um, just supporting them um, physically uh, through donations, um, emotionally through relationships, um, and we just want our foster families to uh, last a long time, to, um, to feel like all of their needs are taken care of um, by their greater community uh, so that they can focus on um, helping the children in their home heal from past traumas. Most of my work with Big House was done in the clothes closet. I had the opportunity to organize and sort the clothes that came in. Um, I also was able to tag the clothes and many times I got to go in and I had to look for hangers that were on the floor and stuff that was misplaced and uh, reorganize after people had come in and looked through everything. From working at Big House, I've learned about the importance of the worker bees, the people that don't have a leadership role but come in and get the job done because the clothes closet wouldn't be run nearly as efficiently without people who just come in and are told stuff to do and they do it willingly and with a servant's heart. Um, therefore, like through working with Big House, I really, like my impact on the community was helping to provide a clean shopping environment that was organized and easy to find things in for these kids who don't have the opportunities to shop elsewhere. By providing a supportive environment, Big House and many other organizations help give children opportunities for a better quality life. Positive childhood experiences and better relationships with family and friends will help these children to have a better self-image and attitude. This will make them better students, workers, and even better parents. An investment in these children's lives worldwide is an investment into the future and can help children to reach their full potential. If more of these children get jobs or graduate from college, society will benefit and therefore so will globalization.